air fryer roasted carrots. This is how us milliners cook carrots in the air fryer. It's easy, it's quick and it's simple and it's perfect for people like me that are addicted to the air fryer that just want something quick and easy to do. Have you tried the air fryer free mini course? Are you new to the air fryer? Let me introduce you to our five day free quick start mini course. It answers a lot of beginner air fryer questions, gives you simple air fryer recipes to follow and helps you get confident with your air fryer. You can get it for free at recipethis.com forward slash ebooks or search recipethis.com for air fryer mini course. So this is all about cooking air fried carrots that are like roasted carrots in the oven. They're absolutely yummy. You can prepare them with just salt and pepper and extra virgin olive oil. Or you can step them up a level and when they're done you can season them in a sticky marinade like honey, garlic, maple syrup if that's your thing. Or you could even use a barbecue sauce if you wanted to. So in our house, our son, he's four years old and his favourite food in the world is honey. So you can guarantee that if I make these, he'll go in the fridge, he'll get some honey out, he'll get the seasonings out and before I know it, he's mixed it all for me in a bowl and it's ready for the air fryer. And it's just so sweet and lovely when he does that. And then they're fantastic for serving for a roast dinner as a nice side dish or you can just have them to go with an air fry roast chicken very similar to the way we do our carrots when we're doing our air fry pot roast you know we'll throw in the air fryer the the roast beef carrots and potatoes and unlike the instant pot it all cooks together you don't have to wait for the carrots to cook separately because they'll go mushy. It can just all be done together and it's just fantastic. Then once you chop the carrots, you can just lose your peelings. And then ideally you want to chop them into thirds because otherwise um, it would take a long, long time for them to cook. Or if you've got a bigger carrot, you can go into fourths. Or this one. It's only a small one, so to get them all chopped like that. And this one's a particularly big one, so I'm just getting a bit smaller on that one. And then cutting that bit there. So those are the carrots that I'm going to be air frying today. So load your carrots into a mixing bowl. It's much better if you do it this way, because if you don't, you don't end up with an equal flavouring on carrots, you'll end up with one that's really nice and another that isn't. So get your carrots in a bowl. Seasoning I'm using here for basic carrots is some oregano, sea salt and of course uh, finely ground black pepper pepper is quite strong so I only ever put a little bit in because I've got little ones to feed and they don't appreciate spice and then when I'm adding in the extra virgin olive oil if I haven't got my measuring cup with me I just use the lid because it just kind of keeps me in check and makes sure that I don't add too much olive oil to the air fryer because it's very easy to fall victim to that where you kind of drizzle your olive oil on and before you know it you've got four tablespoons of olive oil and air fryers don't need that much so I think a teaspoon maybe two teaspoons depending on how many carrots you're doing give them a quick mix like this and then they're ready to go in the air fryer Them in and then you can do a lot more air fried carrots than that um, but we're only feeding two of us for lunch today so we don't need more than this so 
So set the temperature for 180 Celsius, 360 Fahrenheit, and then the cook time to 15 minutes. We've baked. So now we're just checking on the carrots. Go with your biggest piece of carrot that you can find. And then put it on the fork. And if it's going through nicely like this one is, then they're ready for a temperature increase. You can also do the te test again on another one and just double check. Make sure they're okay. And they're lovely. So I'm putting them back on for five minutes at a higher temperature. Because actually, um, I would normally recommend five minutes. My air fryer has been on the go for several hours, so it's had an amazing preheat. So I'm actually taking mine down to three minutes. But if it hadn't been cooking all day, I would do it for five minutes. And if your air fryer is rather full, you can go up to six minutes. Okay, so this is how I make the marinade that I put on the carrots. George is busy watching a movie with his brother and sister at the moment and would usually be making it for me because he's absolutely obsessed with his honey. But it's up to me to do it on my own. And what I add is simple honey, garlic, mustard and some balsamic. The honey we have is delish. Living in Portugal, it's one of the perks in the food department. We're moving back to England soon. And I'm going to really miss the honey here. The honey's cheap in England, but it's just not as high quality as what we get here. So yeah, I need extra honey. The honey helps with the stickiness on the glaze of the carrots. So it depends on how sticky you want your carrots to turn out. And then the balsamic is fantastic because it kind of loosens it up a bit if it's too difficult to stir and you want to be able to mix it on a bunch of carrots. So that's the honey, mustard and garlic nicely mixed together there. And then I just add a little balsamic. Just a tiny bit. And then that's ready. The air fry is on at the moment cooking the carrots. So once it's ready, I can toss it in the seasoning and they're good to go. So now let's check on those carrots, shall we? Wow, those carrots are absolutely perfect. Even the bigger bits. You know, you can't beat how delicious air fried carrots are. So once you've done your carrots, remove your basket. And now we're on with George's favourite bit, which is adding your honey glaze. So you just add your honey glaze. I would normally do it with my hand, but they're really too hot for that. And then you've got perfectly roasted air fry carrots. Then you can just load them on the plate and they're ready for dinner. People know, have no idea that you've been mixing them in the bowl or how little effort they were or that they weren't baked in the oven. They're just absolutely spot on delicious and perfect uh, for a quick side dish. For lunch or dinner in the air fryer, especially for two people, you can do a much bigger batch if you want to, or you can go a small portion, like me and Dominic have just made now. Today's recipe is all part of one of our themes that we're running at the moment. It's called 12 Idiot Proof Air Fryer Recipes. Not my choice of title, but one of my readers asked me for air fry recipes that were idiot proof, that was so simple that a child could do them. And that's what today's recipes are about. 
The reason we run themes on our YouTube channel is so that we can focus on a certain type of cooking. You can scroll through our videos and then see which one best applies to you. And then you can pick and choose which ones of our air fryer recipes you are going to recreate at home. Thanks so much for watching. We would love it if you joined the Recipe This family. You can get as involved as you like. You're welcome to follow us on Facebook or Pinterest. Join our Facebook groups, we have two. Join our Kitchen Gadgets newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to ding the bell for instant notifications. Or check out our podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets and is a great way to listen along as we talk about the magic of cooking with kitchen gadgets. Even better, if you head over to recipethis.com, you'll find more than a thousand kitchen gadget recipes. Think air fryer, instant pot, soup maker, slow cooker, bread maker and more.